Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Dark Souls Remastered. As you can see, I have the Guardian Tail. I'm gonna press OK to put it in my inventory. Uh, basically, all that I did was... Here, let's reset these jerks who are super-duper loud. Let's go over here and... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so all that I did was I equipped the Black Bow of Ferris and then some large arrows. I had like 250, so I fired like 100 of them. Uh, and I basically just kept firing at the tails. They jumped around. I think they literally have a mechanic to where they um, they jump around to avoid arrow shots. Uh, because I guess they, you know, they knew people would be cheesing them this way. Um, but, you know, I hit the tail enough times and then finally one broke off. And so now I have the... Guardian tail item or weapon, which is an interesting one. Uh, to, I, I'm trying to find it here. It's definitely an interesting one. It will. It has like poison. Uh, as far as I remember, it had. There it is. Guardian tail. So this flexible, spiked, and highly poisonous tail would make a rather obnoxious weapon. Well, apparently the poison is really bad on it. It takes forever to actually get it to work. But if you apply, I get the the resin or whatever that that gives it poison. It will actually poison uh, enemies pretty quickly, but you obviously need the um, you need the actual you know you need to utilize the resin in order to do that. So let's re-equip everything here. So we have our dark mask as I'm going through this. So there we go. We've got the tail. Yeah. Now, like I said, unfortunately, I still missed out on the um, calamite tail and also the uh, the Priscilla tail. So if anybody is playing this game. Uh, Dark Souls Remastered on PC on their first, I guess it doesn't matter what uh, game you're on though, um, and has the has those items and wants to give them to me, uh, I will even give them back just to kind of say that I had them in my inventory. Um, let me know, you know, reach out to me on Twitter or in a comment on this, you know, on this video or the last one and... Uh, we're looking for the Shadow Gauntlets. And I will, uh, you know, shout you out, obviously, and that'd be amazing. Because those are the only two things we've missed in this playthrough so far. And like I said, it's not fully missable because we can still, um, you know, we can still go to uh, New Game Plus and grab those again. So now we're going to warp over to where we last left off. And we really do not have much left, as I keep saying. Uh, so we're going to go to the Ulysseal Township Dungeon. And this is where we la- uh, you know what, I need to go back to Firelink, actually, for an extra 8 Estus. Not that we probably are gonna need it, but, you know, you never know. So, there we go, we got the Guardian Tail. Uh, yeah, so far only two things that we're missing out. I- I, I could've gotten Calamite's Tail easily if I just remembered. So that was unfortunate. Um, yeah, but they both drop weapons, basically, Tail weapons, and that's the only thing that I'm missing. Okay, we're gonna get 20 Estus here, and then we're gonna warp back to the Ulysseal township dungeon and we're gonna move forward and i mean i guess do the thing do the thing in this in this episode <sighs> all right let's move forward we have not been uh, over this way yet now there's a lot of items over here i know and it's also a very dark place um i hope it's not too dark to where we need light because i really don't want to have to use this weapon one-handed uh use this weapon one-handed and then have to use the stupid um Skull Lantern. There we go. First try. Nice. What do we get? Twinkling Titanite. We need to also go and uh, try to upgrade our weapon, or upgrade our armor as well, since we've gotten a decent amount of Twinkling Titanite. But we also need some new souls here. Okay, so, yeah, remember, the whole theme of this entire place is the Abyss. So, obviously, this is a very dark, abyssal area. That attack is very annoying. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, hold on. There's a sorceress. Oh, is it coming? Oh, it's coming. I don't know what that was. Oh, don't kill me. Okay. Okay, please stop. Thank you very much. I don't know if she's still casting that, but this is obviously a really annoying situation here. We need to check and see and then roll that when it's coming. And I need to go for her ASAP. Where is she? Is that her right here? Uh, right there? Okay. Let's get her real quick. That's fine. You can get that free, uh, free hit off. Okay, that's fine too. Hold on, guys. Let me just let me just recoup. Let me just recoup real quick. Okay, now you can die. Thank you. Yeah, those sorceresses, man. Ugh, that that I think it's this pyramid, uh, this uh, this hex right here. Yep, dark bead. So we got dark orb, I think. But that's that's I don't remember what that one is. I think what they're using is dark bead, and so they reward you with it finally. Um, yeah, I think that's considered to be a really awful spell in this game, uh, in terms of, you know, really cheap, just like, um, Wrath of the Gods. Uh, one of the things that people use if they're trying to be cheap, basically. A plunging attack ahead. 
well, maybe, but I don't know if I want to go down there just yet. Uh, so there's Dark Bead. You know, I never, like I said, I've never used magic. I've never used sorceries or hexes or any of that crap. So I might use, I might do a Pyromancy uh, playthrough at some point, though, for sure. A lot of people have said, GV, hey, if you dig Pyromancy a little bit, maybe you should go for a Pyromancy. Uh, honestly, yeah, that would be the one that I would do. Check that out now. Hello. That would be the one that I would do. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, basically. Uh, now, there's tons of items over here all over the place. So I'm just trying to keep an eye out for them. Um, I just know there are many, many weird hidden items everywhere. And these things are bad. These things will hurt us. They're basically like little humanities, as you can see. I think there's something over... Yes. Okay. So there's Alvina, but she's an illusion. We're gonna follow this. I don't remember all of this exactly. Yeah, these humanities attack you. I think they just deal contact damage to you. Wait a second. Are we going the right way? I, I don't know. Okay, I'll keep following this, though. Is there a way to not get hit by these guys? Because, yeah, they dealt contact damage to me. I'm trying to judge where the heck I am in relation to them. Okay, we're gonna follow Alvina. She's going over there. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, this is another elevator. Um, we're gonna go up. Where does this lead, actually? I need to know, because this is a shortcut. If I'm gonna follow this. Or use this, I mean. Where in the heck are we? we? We've had to have seen this recess. I just don't know. Where in the heck are we? Royal Wood, obviously. Oh! Oh, right. Okay, so that's Artorias. We went down there for Calamite, and here we go. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, so this is the mega shortcut, obviously. You can um, utilize the uh, the Royal, the first Royal Woods Actually, wait. It, no, I guess you want to utilize the Ulaseal Township bonfire to get back to this. Now, I'm going to hit it and then see if there's anything under it. I know that there's not, but I have to check. There's not. Okay. Um, Alvina was that away. Chasm of the Abyss. Yeah, this place is very confusing. She was that way, but there's nothing. Okay. There's something really important here that I don't want to miss, but this place is so gosh darn confusing. Okay, the big one obviously takes more than one hit. There we go. Yeah, and these guys will drop humanity also. Um, FYI. Uh, are we not supposed to go that way? Gosh, this is confusing. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, there's a ton of items and stuff down here. But there's one thing that's really important that I need to do before we do the big the big thing. Um, I'll, I guess I'll just move forward, find what I'm looking for, and then try to backtrack, I suppose. Because, yeah, otherwise I'll be stuck down here for an eternity. Now, where does this lead? Because I don't think we came down this way. Probably where that... Oh, see, there's an item here. Nice. Oh, barely got that. Did I get a slow roll? What was that? Okay, humanity there. And the sorceress here, which you want to kill because she'll obviously be shooting stuff at you as you're down there. Did I... We still... Wait, 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 wait. Dark mask, crimson robe, shadow gauntlets, dark leggings... Oh, dark leggings, that's why. I was like, hold on. We need shadow leggings. There. Okay, now we have our cartwheel back. Okay, that could have really messed me up. Uh, let's go down here. Um, it obviously wants me to drop down with all those humanity dudes. I don't, I don't know what this is supposed to represent, by the way. It's very odd. Um, I, I guess... Because cause what's interesting about this DLC, if you paid attention to the uh, beginning cutscene at the start of this playthrough, which is one of my favorite game intros ever, since it shows kind of the Lord Souls and, it, you know, how you're going to have to kill them. So if you touch them, you take damage and also plays, uh, plays like the humanity sound. Um, it talks about the pygmy that so easily forgot and how he found the first Dark Soul, or, I don't know, humanity, I think it was, yeah, the first, he found the first Dark Soul, I don't know, man. Our humanity's Dark Soul, this is where the, the story gets really confusing to me. Um, but yeah, this is, this is that DLC, this is what that's referring to. So it's interesting because the DLC for this game is referenced in the game's opening cutscene. Uh, with the, you know, the, the, the furtive pygmy so easily forgotten. That is this DLC. So you never see that usually. You know, usually DLC is added afterwards. Okay, what is this? Black Flame uh, Hex there. Interesting. Um, yeah, usually, you know, the DLC is talked about afterwards. Uh, 
I guess a good example would be like in Horizon Zero Dawn, they talk about the Banuke tribe, and then in the DLC, you actually go interact with the Banuke tribe. Um, but yeah, it's just interesting. So I, I don't know what all of this is supposed to represent. These obviously are like, you know, living, breathing humanities. Where am I going now? I'm going to drop down over this way, I guess. You see, this is what I mean. It's just so incredibly confusing, this area, since it's so dark. Uh, yeah, this looks good. We haven't been down here yet, I don't think. Okay. And then there's these things here to show me that I'm supposed to go down there, obviously. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, we have not been over this way yet. Okay. Still haven't found the thing that I'm looking for, in the wise words of Bono. Um, okay, just kind of, yeah. We might want to get some, uh, item dis- Oh, my God. You, you, we might want to get some item discovery for this part, since these things do have a chance to drop humanities. Um, and then we could be getting tons of them here, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay, just gonna keep r 2 away with my scythe. How did that hit? Is he so I love the great scythe, but man, sometimes it's just like, how in the world did that not hit anything there? Are you serious? Okay, let's heal up. There are so many of these things. We're gonna clear them out once, and then if we come back down here, which we most likely will, uh, we'll basically never do it again. Unless I want to farm humanities, I guess. Which I suppose this would be a good spot for. Okay, before we go clear the rest of those guys out, let's go up this way. Because I don't think... <gasps> oh, I almost ran straight off the... Looks like there is something down there. Gosh, this place is confusing. Okay, let's go up. Uh, let's go up this way first. Don't know where this leads. Don't know where any of this stuff leads, really, to be honest. Very confused. I know there's an illusory wall somewhere. Unless it was the thing that I fell down at. And I think I missed that interaction my first time here. Where is this going, man? See, it just goes forever and ever. But we got the shortcut. That's one of the important things down here. And I think we were up here. Yeah, because we read... Yeah, a plunging attack. Right. Um, so let's fall down here. There's where that one guy was. And then we'll go back down. We can see an item all the way over there. Um, okay. And yeah, there's the rest of the humanities. Uh, should we drop down here? Is there anything? I don't know. <laughs> uh, this place is just so... Confusing. Okay, let's drop down. I'll try to get a plunging attack there. It just kind of screwed me out of it, but that's fine. Let's go over this way and do an R2. Staying humanities are getting, like, a little hit on me. It's really annoying. One of them just dropped one, though. See? Right there. How did that not hit anything? Seriously? Okay, and... Goodbye. That's fine. We, got, we have many Estus flasks. Twin humanities. Okay, so this is probably the best place to farm humanities, by the way. Um, oh, okay. Shoot. I'm going to drop down here. Uh, because these things not only have a chance to drop humanities, but also twin humanities, which is very important. Be wary of jumping. Help me carving. Great. All right, so there is something down there. Um, we can get to the end of this place, but if I don't find the thing that I need... I'm going to drop down here. Oh, my God. Oh, my... God. Well, that might be a blessing in disguise uh, because I might need to start near the top to figure out what I'm missing here. So I'll see you guys once I find that because that's, yeah, that's, that's, oh, I need to remember to keep, keep forgetting to actually utilize the bonfires. Um, okay. So we should go to the Ulysseal Ulus Township. Yeah, I'll see you guys once I find what I'm actually looking for. Hey, it's me, GV. Okay, a lot of weird things happen. First of all, I realized that we never got invaded by a certain somebody, so we're going to do that. Then also, I do remember that, yeah, where the where the one thing that I was looking for is. Uh, and um, also, my mic cord literally fell out, which means I had to, like, stop recording and redo it and a whole bunch of boring stuff. So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go get that invasion, and hopefully this works decently. I, I really... I need to get invaded by the NPC, and I'm probably going to end up getting invaded by a person, which I do not want. I do not want at all. Uh, so we're going to make a mad dash over there. I, I know, I, I remembered vaguely, yeah, we were missing an invasion. So we're just going to run and hope that we don't get invaded right now. Uh, where we basically need to go, I think, is near the end of this long string of buildings. So let's do that. I'm not even going to fight anything here. I just want to get to the end right over there, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so, yeah, that was a perfectly timed... There we go, perfectly. No! No, 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 no. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Oh my god! Really? That is mega annoying. Cannot use indictment? Yeah, no crap. 
Zui just got invaded right there. Oh, you know what? I think we, we'll still get the NPC invasion. Uh, but we just got invaded by an actual uh, person. Okay, so yeah, this is... This is... Everything that I was talking about, about having no invasions and stuff, this is... Oh, I need to do this. This is what I mean. Um, this is... Oh, man, I'm so scatterbrained right now. There's just so much... My controller fell on the floor. I had to replug in my mic cord. It stopped the recording, so then I had to restart the... the ugh, I'm just so frazzled. All right, anyways, let's move down here. Yeah, we're, we just barely got invaded there. Uh, and if you saw, it was by Marvelous Chester, which is the salesman guy that's pretty much from Bloodborne, as most people... Uh, imagine. Now, we're gonna kill these guys since they're so freaking annoying. Uh, we're probably, again, gonna get invaded, uh, because this place is just awful. Let's run and do a running RB on this dude. Okay, we got invaded again. Let's grab this. No. No. Stop. Okay, we did get invaded, though. Wow, and he's already... Can you not, dude? Okay, let's drink over here. Alright, let's kill this guy. Go ahead, do your attack. Nope. And no. Nope. Now, Chester is behind us. I thought we grabbed our souls. Wow, this is mega annoying. Okay, so yeah, he appears behind you and he starts firing stuff at you. We're going to murder him for that. There's one. I don't know why that didn't connect or what that... Excuse me! Wow! <laughs> this is such an annoying... Okay. There's another one and goodbye, Chester. Okay, okay! Okay, okay. Go around the corner. Don't freak out. If I could, like, do an input, that'd be amazing. There we go. Okay. Holy crap. Dark Spirit Marvelous Chester is vanquished. We get, like, 10,000 souls for that, basically. Oh, my God. That is so annoying. I can't even put it into words. And this, you got so much crap, like this person. And then all the things chasing you. Mega, mega annoying. All right, now, we need to go back down to the, um, we need to go to the bonfire before I get invaded, which I'm probably, again, going to get invaded. It just always happens here, and we're definitely at the level requirement for that to happen. Um, so, you know what, actually, no, we, no, no, we don't, no, we don't. We don't need, uh, need to use the bonfire. I am going to use the bonfire, though, actually. I'm so scatterbrained, I'm sorry, I know I'm sounding like a complete weirdo right now. Okay, use the bonfire, reset everything. We're going to leave and we're going to go talk to Goff because I forgot there's something, there's another interaction uh, after you kill, I guess, uh, Calamite, which is obvious because he wants, you know, an update, he says. Uh, and then we can go down the shortcut elevator that we activated previously, do the interaction that I was talking about, and I think we're missing only, like, two items in that Chasm of the Abyss. <laughs> and we can finally do the thing that needs to be done down, uh, down there. Oh, man. All right, so let's go talk to Goff real quick and hope that we don't get invaded, even though it doesn't really matter. A uh, very important interaction here that I definitely did miss on a couple of playthroughs. So here's Goff again. Ah, thou hast defeated Kalamit, wondrously played. Lord Gwyn's blessing upon me. That beast will never take to the skies again. Okay. Ah, this great bow, I shan't need it, but no dragons to hunt. I know not if a human could even operate it. But here, I need outweighs mine. Okay, so we're given Goff's great bow. There we go. I suspect thou hast taken a gander at it. But the dark of the abyss, which swallowed poor Artorias, threatens to devour our entire land of Ulysseal. It seems that this dire fate is unavoidable, but, seduced by a dark serpent or no, they awoke that thing themselves and drove it mad. One's demise is always one's own making. Not really. What if you just get murdered by a random person? I mean, it's not like you did anything to them, really. What if you're the nicest person ever and somebody still, you know, makes it a point to push you into a car or something? Uh, anyways. If thy wish is to succeed, then thou must face Manus. The dark, even if this land shall expire, but even so, and even the legends. Now, do not miss I shall out of much in truth. Still. Okay. 
Now, I don't know if he actually sells anything new. Probably not. Nope. And he gave us uh, Goff's... Yes. Uh, I, I didn't want to skip that, but I already have been wasting a bunch of time in this episode. And I just got to keep this moving. Um, anyways. Yeah, so we got Goff's Great Bow there after killing Dragon uh, Black Dragon Calamity. Now... We can go use the elevator that we activated in order to get right back down to where I needed to go. Uh, I got I got interrupted by the enemies there or doing something, but basically, Alvina leads you directly to the illusory wall, and I just forgot the exact spot of it. So if we go back out over this way, and by the way, the lady that was there, you can kill her and you'll get an extra weapon. So, you know, that's that's what I'm, I'm not so bummed about not, um, about missing two tail weapons because really, depending on your choices, you are locked out of certain stuff anyways. But, I don't know. So there's Chester. Let's talk to him now that we've uh, killed him in an invasion. Oh, you. You have quite some nerve. Or are you just thick? Fine, then. What is it that you need? Did you really slay? I'd heard the Abyss found him first. That's absolutely... Yes. <laughs> Believe it or not, Ulysseel has been fooled by that toothy serpent. They are... What could they... Ah, to you and I. You have to ask your... <laughs> so the serpent they keep referring to is Darkstalker Cat, the, the guy that we're actually kind of working for so Ulysseel found him got like you know seduced by his words basically and uh you know um upturned Manus father of the abyss who was just referenced by Goff there who then made the abyss kind of destroy the town well I've had it well I okay I'll be seeing you I'll be seeing you too you yeah 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 sorry sorry to skip through all your dialogue man but I really gotta get some stuff accomplished in this episode Okay, so we're going to go use this elevator. This was the shortcut that we just unlocked, and it should still be here since I, uh... Yeah, again, this is this is a tip you'll get very, 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 very used to, is once you die, have to use a shortcut again to uh, simply roll over it like such so that when you inevitably die again, you can just reuse it. Now, I think it's right over here. Yep, so there's the illusory wall. Okay, and like I said, Alvina stops there to show you you should, you know, interact with that, but I kind of missed it. Okay, so we have some more of these humanities here and something interesting in the distance. Now, this is kind of like a little secret. A lot of people miss this, including myself, like I said, in, in one 100% playthrough. Well, I guess it wasn't 100% now that I think about it, huh? Uh, but I know that I missed this uh, one time when I did the uh, DLC for sure. So, yeah, see, we're getting killed by the freaking... I don't know how far they are. That's what's actually damaging me, which is annoying, but whatever. Some people might be able to make that out right now. Okay, so one more R2 here. Come on, man. I'm barely missing it. There we go. And... Boop. And... Come on. Back up a little bit and... Boop. So much damage from these dang humanities, but that's fine. So recognize this little pupper here. That little pupper is Sif. Sif as a puppy. Remember we remember we killed <laughs> killed the uh, killed the older version. Yeah, this is um, since this is this since this is in the past, you find Sif here as a little puppy, and that's kind of like saving it right there. Uh, it drops the cleansing great shield, which I actually want to take a look at. I want to read the description of that cleansing great shield, huh? The steel great shield used by Knight Artorius, who succumbed to the Abyss. Artorius, deeply scarred by the Abyss, used this to form a barrier to protect his compatriot Sif. Although this drained the shield, its magic defense remains high. Interesting. So, the really interesting about that is we find, I think, like I said, I think we need two more items in this Abyss here before we can um, take on what's next. Um, the really interesting is that you can actually do this DLC before you fight Sif. I, I don't, I've never done this interaction, so if I'm wrong here, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I, as far as I understand, if you come to the DLC, if you come to this spot here and save, that thing was going to push me off, save Sif first before fighting Sif in the forest, which you have to do to get the, uh, ring of Artur, the, you know, the, the, whatever, the Abyss Ring to be able to traverse uh, and fight the Four Kings. Uh, Sif will actually show that she? Or is it a he? I don't, I don't even know. Whatever it is. It'll actually show that it recognizes you and it will look sad that it has to fight you. Not, not kidding. That's a, real, that's a real interaction. So I don't know exactly how to make that happen. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you just have to come here 
you have to rescue Sif like I just did, and then you have to do that before fighting Sif in the Great Forest. Or the Forest, whatever it's called. And, uh, yeah, it will look regretful that it has to fight you, so isn't that sad? Uh, that will happen. Uh, I've, like I said, I've never gotten that because I always do the DLC last, as, as most people do. But that will happen if you do it. Okay, come on. Ugh, these things are mega annoying. Now, there is an item over there. That's That must be one of the two that I'm missing. Uh, shoot. I wanted to take on... I wanted to take on... I We'll take it on, I guess. I, I need to find those two items and then... We'll do the thing that we're here to do, basically. We can always return as well and just... I can always return and just clean up. Maybe we'll make a mad dash. Alright, so here's... Uh, got her right before, thank God. Okay, let's drop down here. Yeah, we have not been... Oh, we... Okay, maybe it's just over here and then down there. And those are the only two things that we have to do. So let's just clean out these guys real quick. Ugh, they're so fast. I'm not even scared of these guys. Whatever. You guys can chase me if you want. If my Great Scythe would actually hit them, that'd be amazing. Is there nothing over here? Are you guys not even guarding anything? Oh, there's a drop-off. Okay, well, I'm gonna go down here. Let's heal. Do we see any other items? Okay, you need to relax. You need to relax, too. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is... You know what? I realize this is much better for farming humanities than the rats are, isn't it? Okay, twin humanities there. Humanity there. Very nice. Let's get this guy real quick. Thank you. Okay, what does this say? Oh, this is where I died, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, so I need to not hit the left there and just kind of roll straight forward. Perfect. Um, all right. Kind of trying to steal that item over there in the distance. And we also didn't go down that one platform. Uh, this is so mega confusing. I'm sorry if this is boring. Okay, I, I think this just leads up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, okay, so we're going to go down this way now. There's a very important item down here, or a big item at least, that I'm trying to find. Um, okay, just trying to look over the edge. It might be that one in the distance, but I have a feeling that it's not. Okay, we got lucky here with another drop. Oh, do we just literally need to go back up again? Gosh darn it. Sorry, I'm so sorry for, like, constantly going through the same areas over and over again. Just trying to be meticulous here. All right, so we need to go back up and then finally drop down that middle pillar-looking thing. Uh, and then we'll be able to move forward, I'm sure. So here's where the sorceress was. Drop down here and then go down this middle area now. Okay, and let's not die. I have a feeling this might be a little tricky to traverse. Maybe not, though. Okay, so far so good. Now this leads to a little cave, but I'm checking to see if there's any hidden drop-off areas. Oh, okay, here's one item. Twin Humanities. Yes, okay, that's one of the ones that I was looking for, but that's not the big one. So I guess the big one is still ahead of us. Twin Humanities is okay, of course, but not like a... Oh boy, there we go. Okay, um... Maybe back here? Looks like this is leading somewhere, right? Hello? Please relax. I don't have much healing left, and I'd like to be able to do what's next. Yes! Okay, there's all the items. I'm pretty sure we got everything. I should have just had faith and continued forth. Oh, boy. Now, most of you know what what is that. Uh, no, most of you know what that is right there. Um, by the way, I'm going to mention this here. Um, I don't know exactly where it was, where it is, uh, but I tested this out myself to see if this was still a thing. And I also don't know if they patched this. But I'll go ahead and tell you, there was a way, it might be literally right here. I don't know where the spot is, but let me just say that there is a way to see what's past that fog door and shoot it with arrows until it was dead. And that's the type of really cheesy thing that people really hate to see somebody do. So I would never do it in a playthrough. I'm just saying, all I'm saying is... If you're having a lot of trouble here, and you're giving up, and you really just want it, want this to be over, I don't know if it's in the remastered version, but at least in the Steam version, it was never patched to where, oh my god, it's still there, isn't it? See that red glowing thing right there? So if I stood here, or maybe even right there, you know what, that's probably what that message is referencing. Ranged bad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 
Oh, there's another another item back there. Okay, so, yep, that's exactly what that message is referencing. Um, okay, let's grab this. Soul of the hero. Uh, what's that down there? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, so if you stand here, I shouldn't even say this. I guess people are probably angry if I'm saying this, but screw them. Um, if you wear the like the hawk ring, which extends the range of your arrows, um, you can shoot that and you can kill it. And it will count. Just letting you know if you're if you're really annoyed with this fight. I can't take this. Yep. Alright, we're going to give this one go. See how it goes. And then I'm going to end the episode. I am on a tight res uh, recording schedule today. I really, you know, even if I wanted to, I can't really just keep at this until I do it. Uh, you know, we might be able to do it first try. Probably not. I don't know. Uh, oh, well, okay. So this is where the silver pendant comes in, comes in handy, by the way. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to immediately use this and switch back to my healing. I don't remember how this fight goes at all, okay? It's been a long, long time. And like I said, I only really did this twice. So just keep that in mind. I it, This feels like I'm going in blind, all right? I, I, I vaguely remember, but this feels like I'm going in blind. So just know that, okay? We can do it first try like Calamite, though. I mean, shit, that'd be amazing. But I really am not expecting that. Okay, I'm going to immediately press X as I get up to activate the silver pendant. Remember, it, like, reflects dark damage. Remember that. Oh, boy. This is considered the hardest boss in the game, I'm pretty sure. And for good reason. As you'll see. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Manus, Father of the Abyss. Okay, pressing X. Got a hit there, nice. Can't see what he's doing. Okay, I'm dodging pretty well so far. Back up. By the way, you can summon Sif for this fight as well, if you rescued her. Okay, we're getting some good hits in. Wow. Oh yeah, I remember the tracking, yep, I remember that. Gonna activate this again. Okay, got hit there. That's fine. Ooh, got hit there too. Getting comboed now. Yep. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be, though, to be honest. Let's give it one last shot. Let's give it one last shot. That was not nearly as bad. We almost got him, in fact. Wow. Um, huh. Okay, so we're gonna spawn here again. Um, ugh. Well, we don't need the... We don't need the uh, 10 extra flash from um, from uh, Firelink. So this, the Silver Pendant, from what I understand, it just reduces the amount of damage that, that Manus does. He is the embodiment of like dark energy or abyssal energy, whatever you want to call it. So he will deal heavy you know, damage of that type to you, basically. I don't know exactly what this does because I, I either never used it or if I did use it, I just didn't know what it does, so... I'm not sure exactly how much it's helping, but as you can see, he's he's pretty challenging. He does pretty fast attacks, and if he hits you once, he'll combo you. Uh, I that was basically blind. I don't I didn't remember any of those attacks. I did uh, vaguely. I did remember the um, yeah the little bead thing, or the the cha the the little beads that chased you, that sort of thing. I remember that. Um, but overall, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, unless there's a phase that I'm forgetting about or something. So let's figure out the best way to get back here. I know there is the sorceress around the corner here. So let's go ahead and take her out quickly. Okay. Our souls don't matter, by the way. If I had any buffs, that would be awesome. Like gold pine resin. But I don't have any as far as I know. Uh, we could use Elizabeth's mushroom. In fact, I'm going to use one. I'm going to go all out here. Uh, I'm going to get next to the boss door. So yeah, there you go, by the way. You can shoot Manus through the thing and just kill him that way if you really want to be cheap and lame and people are going to really detest you for doing that, but you can pretend like you never did it, I guess. And I'm just going to go for it. I, uh, uh, let's see. What do we have here that's not useful? This. All right, do we have anything here that will buff us up? Elizabeth's Mushroom will, yeah, for sure. Uh, Divine Blessing as well. And unfortunately, we just don't have any buffs, which is really annoying. Um, let's grab an Elizabeth's Mushroom. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time, and then I'm just gonna wait for the next episode. I have to. I just have to, folks, so don't hate me. No, 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 I knew there was one coming. Stop. 
What the heck? Stop! What? Lock on him. Okay. All right. Uh, can you relax, please? Oh my god. And it goes through them. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna pop an Elizabeth's mushroom. I'm gonna pop the uh, the silver pendant. I'm gonna go down here, and here we go. Let's give it our best shot. It's just about reaction times. Rolled that perfectly. Got a hit. Nice. That hit should have hit, but whatever. Okay, figured I was going to get hit by that. Yep. Let's get a hit in. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's heal. I'm going to activate the silver pendant when I can. No, I barely missed that roll. Come on, get up. Okay, I'm going to activate this. Grab my healing again. Ooh, okay. Finding it hard to stabilize. Drink. Nice, okay. Missed R2, that's fine. Dodge that. R2. R2 again. Okay, R2 again. Oh, I didn't have enough stamina. Okay, here comes the bead, so I think we just run. Yep. Okay, that was all a combo. Couldn't do anything about that. Gonna heal. Oh god, that attack. Yeah. All right. Come on. I'm, I'm like learning all this with. Oh Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a lot of this stuff I'm just seeing now for, the, for basically what's the first time. Uh, this is totally doable though. You, I think you just want to stay aggressive. I'm just trying to watch him pretty much. All right. So I know it pains me, but we're gonna have to end this episode here, ladies and gents. We'll finish this up in the next episode for sure, because that is not nearly as hard as uh, I expected it to be. I was expecting it to be even harder than that. And if I stay more aggressive, I think we'll be good. Uh, especially with all the rolling. I was expecting, like, a decent amount of deaths here, by the way. I also feel very jittery. Like, I don't feel... Although we were doing pretty good, so... Yeah, no. Uh, we're gonna go back to Firelink and grab the 20 Estus, and then um, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much to my patrons. Thank you so much to everybody that supports the channel in any way. Appreciate it. We are so close. Goodbye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to support me, please consider leaving a like and or becoming a patron over on Patreon. I also stream on Twitch if you'd like to catch me live and come say hello. The schedule is below in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.